we got to do a little walk-in entrance, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not even in the center, dang it. Take two, take two, take two. The new season's coming up, and we're either saving money for the pieces we want to get, or we're actually spending money to keep up with modern day styling. If you're balling on a budget like me, you're probably trying to do both. Well today, I actually have one of the most affordable essential shoe for you to wear for any season with any style. Let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is Mark Yabyab. I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything related to men's fashion. So literally anything that makes you look good so you could feel good. And also I have a huge, huge, huge favor. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. It helps the algorithm. My goal for this channel is to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And we literally only have three months to go. So I got a lot of work to put in, but I'm here to give you guys the most value that I potentially can. And not to mention, I always, always, always answer you guys' question or comments below. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and just dive into the video. So with this shoe, I actually wore it literally every season. I'm talking about shorts for the summer, sweats during the fall time or winter time or spring time, pants or jeans, and it looks super, super awesome within an affordable price. And when it comes to long-term, I actually wanted to try it out, see if it actually looks good with any style within any season. And before I recommend an essential, I'm talking about a piece you can wear 70 to 80% of the time within the whole year. So an example of that would actually be a denim jacket where you can actually wear it from fall all the way up to spring. Obviously, no one's gonna wear a denim jacket during the summer, but you know, if you have a cold summer around your area, please feel free to do that. But that to me is an essential. And with fall being here, I feel like fall is the season for men's and it's the perfect season to invest in some sneakers. All right guys, and the shoes I'm referring to are Converse. Not just any other regular Converse though, I'm talking about the Chuck 70s. And let's just not waste any time and dive right into why I feel like the Converse Chuck 70s are the essential sneaker that anyone could wear with any style. Now some basic information about these Converse 70s is that they are basically a chunkier, better designed shoe compared to the original Chuck Taylor high tops. So the difference between this shoe compared to the original Chuck Taylor high tops is that the canvas is actually much more thicker. So it's made out of better material. Logo is actually black and white, giving it that vintage look. The midsole is actually chunkier and has that yellow color within the midsole, I guess you could say. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a little small detail, but the toe box compared to the original Converse is a lot smaller, giving the shoe a much more, I can say it, it's showing off more of the shoe rather than like the toe box, if you get what I'm saying. And the reason why I recommend this shoe is because of like the classic silhouette. It's like your basic essential like shoe and like, since it's a high top, it's so versatile. You can literally wear this during fall all the way up to springtime. And I know when summer gets a little bit hot, you tend to wear um, low top shoes, but the fact that you can still wear high top Converse and it just doesn't look too chunky and it just has a slender silhouette allows you to wear this with shorts. As for the sizing uh, for the Chuck 70s, I feel like it actually runs true to size. Comparing this to the regular Converse, where you kind of have to go down 
I believe that's half a size or one full size. But other than that, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Now, pricing. Comparing this to Jordans, which are like reselling four to five times the amount of the retail price, dunks raising up in prices as well, and designers being like out of the budget, I feel like Converse's are much more affordable compared to the rest of the high top shoes that you could potentially get in the market. Now for the Chuck 70s, these actually cost $85 straight from their website. If you are looking for a much more elevated look, um, you could always get the CDG Converse's. It literally is the rendition of the Chuck 70s, just like slap a CDG logo and there you go. That's basically $150 right out of your pocket just because you have a little heart onto the shoe. Now another rendition, which is much more designer-esque, is the Mihara Yasuhiro Converse's. I really wouldn't call it Converse's because it is designed by him, but it's like a more chunkier and I wouldn't really call it weird, but unique look where it just shows the chunkiness of the Converse. So if you're looking to have a, an essential designer shoe, I would look into that brand and that shoe and see how that works out for you. But honestly, I'm more than happy with the Chuck 70s in my closet. Now, the versatility of the shoe goes crazy, guys. For you to get a shoe that you can wear any season with any style, at like 80 bucks is just mind-blowing to me. You can wear this shoe with literally any style, guys. I'm talking about dapper wear, street wear, your comfy casual flex look, your wide pants look, your cropped pants look. Even if you are going on the skinnier side, this looks great as well. And you could even wear this with sweats and shorts. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys gotten any value from it. Um, this is just a little quick video as to why I think the Chuck 70s are the most affordable essential shoe to have in your closet, especially during this fall season that's coming up or even for more seasons to come. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if you guys got a pair, and also make sure you guys follow the gram. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been posting a little bit more on Instagram and that's where you'll see majority of my life um, behind the scenes, shoes that I get, more like haul stuff that doesn't even make it to youtube so ig fam knows for anyone that's on instagram and that follows me thank you guys again i appreciate you i'm trying to make things much more exclusive in any social media platform that you guys don't normally get here on youtube but let me know in the comments below follow the gram i'm out i'm sweating like crazy